We welcome everyone on this rainy Sunday morning to Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church, Corsicana, Texas. Today is Mother's Day, in which we pay tribute to our mothers, both living and dead. And we all, it's also Ascension Sunday when we remember the ascension of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So uh, at this time we will begin our service with Holy, Holy, Holy. Our call to worship will be uh, led by Sister Deborah Huzzle. Our morning hymn, opening hymn will be number 323. What a friend we have in Jesus. Our opening prayer will be read in unison. Our scripture, Psalm 100, will be read uh, by Sister Dolores Clark. And then uh, if uh, Sister Liggins comes, we will, she'll be doing our liturgy of praise and thanksgiving. And if, if she's not here, uh, I'd like to ask uh, Sister Yancey to do that. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, let's all stand now for holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. given us new life in Christ. God has called us to be one in God. Jesus calls upon us to love one another as God loves us. Jesus laid down his life for us. And so we are called to lay down our lives for one another. Come, let us worship our God. Let us call Jesus who is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Yeah. 
discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Then we find a friend so Forgive us our many sins, correct us in our errors, and fall not to in the midst of thy needful of us. May we aid in time to bring forth the neighborhood such as desire. Fill us with thy spirit, and we may more worthy serve thy purpose in the earth. When this body ceases to work, Draw us closer to thee in peace. We, we always thanksgiving, thanksgiving in our heart. In, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus the Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endures to all generations. Amen. Amen. Oh God, Redeemer of the world, who 
raised our Lord Jesus from the dead and sit at your right hand in glory, so that we might have an advocate in heaven. Have mercy on the earth. O God, sanctifier of the world, who sent the Holy Spirit that we might be made holy in faith, and through the remembrance of all that are ascended, Lord, has taught us. Have mercy in your For your only Son, who lived and died, that we might have eternal life with you, we give you thanks, O Lord, for his glorious resurrection and the proclamation of the gospel of his holy name. We give you thanks, O Lord, for his ascension into heaven, where you have placed all things in heaven and on earth under his dominion. We give you thanks, O Lord, for his promise that he has gone to prepare a place for us. We give you thanks, O Lord, that we who are raised with Christ may set our hearts on things above, not on things below. Conform us to Christ, that we might be filled with the promise of the Holy Spirit and inspired to proclaim Christ's resurrection and ascension in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth, and together, and the Lord of us in Christ. Amen.
was given to the man who said you could do that work. So there is progress. What I plan to do is every Monday I'm going to send up updated emails to our insurance agents so that they will know that we are moving forward with these uh, required corrections. That's all that I have for those. Amen. If I understand correctly, we don't have an estimate yet about those repairs inside. We don't have an estimate um, yet on the repairs. For which ones? In order to meet the insurance requirements. Next sir. Next sir. There's a concrete person who's coming to look. There's one okay. that's going to look on the outside, all mm -hmm. the woodwork, and those things okay. that have to be okay. done on the outside. The only one we do have is for the Oh, the the tree. Tree. And I, I mentioned before, an elder had talked about the Little Church Foundation. When we get that estimate, I'm going to submit something to them ASAP. Mm -hmm. Whether they'll agree or not, I don't know, but we need to beat the bushes. Oh, okay. And our historical marker is here. Amen. Amen. It's in the fellowship hall. Amen. It's still in the box. Uh, on our fourth Sunday, we will have official board, and we will discuss about the ins and outs of that. Uh, members of the Navarro County Genealogical Society, of which I am president, want to attend the dedication when that happens. Amen. I don't know when it will be, uh, but we'll we'll talk about that about what what comes first. And, We'll deal with that in official board, just like we deal with everything else. Amen. <laughs> so anyway, uh, in God's own time, one thing I found out over the years, everything takes time. And time, patience, and perseverance accomplish all things. Uh, times in life, it gets rough, it gets discouraging. Uh, Rest if you must, but just don't quit. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen. Sister Russell, do you have a presentation? Huh? You've already given them? Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Well, I would like to uh, announce that we will have our missionary meeting. And tomorrow, tomorrow, Sister Ozzel will have her second eye surgery. This is the right eye to remove the cataract. So let's be in prayer for the success of the surgery. The Amen. first one was very successful. Amen. And it's going to be equally successful. We claim success in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. But our visitor stand. She's not a visitor. Go ahead. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Glad to have you with us. Hope you enjoy the service. Hope you come back. The uh, any other prayer request at this time? Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for letting us live to see another Mother's Day and another Ascension Sunday. Amen. Our Lord, thank you for Jesus Christ dying on the cross, rising from the dead, and ascending to the Father. Lord, thank you for all our mothers, those that are here and those that are gone. And Lord, please, we pray that you will bless everybody who's traveling this weekend. The weather is not, at least here, it's not, not what we'd like it to be, but you're in control of everything. Many are going to visit family today, and we pray you'll protect them from hurt, harm, and danger, get them to and from their destination safe. Bless everybody, their jobs, their careers, their families, their health issues, emotional issues, addictions, and everything else. Guide and direct those, and Lord, those who face cancer and all the consequences, that they might turn in their to you. you alone can work things out. Alone we can do nothing. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Black History Moment.
turn to Luke 24, verses 50 through 51. He led them out as far as Bethany. He lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. According to Acts 1, 8 through 11, But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall be my witnesses, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the earth. When he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall, show, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, give us a renewed understanding of these things. Help us to be empowered by the life, the death, the resurrection, and the ascension of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We claim this in the name of our ascended Lord. Amen. Amen. The ascension of Jesus Christ is one of the most significant events recorded in the New Testament. In the Christian tradition, Ascension Day marks the 40th day of Easter. It commemorates Jesus' ascension into heaven following his death and resurrection as recorded in the passages found in today's text. According to the biblical account of the ascension, Jesus appears to the disciples in his glorified state after rising from the dead. He then encourages his disciples that they will receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you. He tells them they must serve as his witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the very ends of the earth. Immediately after these words are spoken, the ascension takes place. He was taken up before their very eyes. A cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, Why do you stand there looking into the sky? The same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way as you've seen him go into heaven. Hallelujah! Christ is ascended. Christ's ascension into heaven marked the crowning event of his exaltation served as a necessary precursor to his continuing work through the Holy Spirit and the church. Having paid the ultimate price for the sin of humanity, that price being death on the cross, Jesus is now risen. Jesus is now exalted. And Jesus now applies the salvation he has won by granting the gifts of repentance and forgiveness of sin. Thus, Ascension Day is significant because it provides believers with the hope of Christ's return and proclaims the hope and glory held out to all who are in Christ. Having been raised from the dead, Christ is now glorified and Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Hallelujah! Christ is ascended. There are a number of other scriptures related to the ascension. Mark 16, 19 says, After the Lord Jesus has spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven and sat at the right hand of God. Luke 22, 69 tells us, From now on the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand mighty God. In John 20, 17, we read, Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. 
the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 33, speaks of Jesus, exalted to the right hand of God. He has received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit. He's poured out what you now see in here. Chapter 7, verse 55 of the same book says, But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Praise his holy name. In Acts 9, or Acts 3, 19 through 21, the apostle Peter preached, Repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out. The times of refreshing may come from the Lord, and that he may send the Christ, who has been appointed for you, even Jesus. He must remain in heaven until the time comes for God to restore everything, as he promised long ago through his holy prophets. Hebrews 1, 3 states, The sun is the radiance of God's glory, the exact representation of his being sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of majesty in heaven. Hebrews 12, 2 contains the following charge. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand hand of the throne of God. Thus we see that now in his glorified state Christ continually intercedes on our behalf to God the Father. Hallelujah. Christ is ascended. You see the startling beauty of the purpose and plan of God for humanity. The life, death, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord and Jesus Christ, our power towering over historical humanity from the very beginning, beckoning us to wake up and see the beauty of our inclusion into the life of God. We are called to live in it, to love in it, to play and laugh in it. We are summoned to believe so we might taste and see that indeed the Lord is good. All that you need to fit and be adopted into the life of God has already been accomplished. It's accomplished in the life, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus. Hallelujah! Yes. Christ is ascended. Yes. We must never forget how important to us is our Lord's ascension. Today is Ascension Sunday we celebrate with special emphasis the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. Technically speaking, Ascension Day falls on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. But with our busy workaday world, it's not convenient for every church to have a Thursday service. Uh, so it's certainly permitted to celebrate it on the following Sunday. I've done Thursday Ascension Day services as well. But regardless of when it's celebrated, it should always be meaningful. And in the ascension, you and I, in all of humanity, have the opportunity to be seated with Jesus at the right hand of God the Father. In the ascension, we have all gone home. We've sung precious memories a while ago. We all have memories of home, of the house where we grow up. I've often reflected on the home in Waco that I grew up in. I moved out of there in 1968, but the people who bought the house from my uncle were kind enough many, many times over the decades to allow me to visit there again. It was always enjoyable. I went back, back there last year. The husband had died and the wife was living with some relatives. They had a son living there and he looked at me with a great deal of suspicion. So a friend of mine put it like this, Pharaoh arose in Egypt who knew not Joseph. <laughs> well, that's pretty relevant. 
is still a special place to me. There's probably special places where you grew up or where you've lived or where you've been that you have fond memories. There are some places that may have very negative memories and you want to avoid them like the plague. And I understand that. We all have, have good and what bad memories of different periods of our lives. But there's nothing like going home. There's no place like home. But regardless of what joys or sorrows we have in connected with any of our earthly places of residence, I come to tell you today it's going to be much better when we arrive at our eternal home. Yes. When we yes. go to be with the Lord. Yes. And that's where it all points to. You move around here, there was a time some people lived in the same house, same neighborhood for their entire lives. There's still some people like that, but it's it's more rare. Society's more mobile because of jobs and other reasons. People move move around. Sometimes they want to move back home when they retire. Even if they don't do that, they want to be buried back home. It varies from people to people. All that's well and good, but it all points toward one thing, going home to be with the Lord. We are with the triune God both here in our present condition at the same time seated at the throne of God. On today, Ascension Sunday, let us be especially thankful that Jesus has brought us all home in his ongoing incarnation by which God becomes man in Christ. That is the central doctrine of the Christian faith. Carnus means flesh. Incarnation, God becomes man in Christ. The church is the body of which Christ is the head. And the church is the fullness of him who fills the whole of creation. St. Augustine, the great 5th century African bishop, taught that we're not saved alone, but as part of the church. Thus the church should be seen not primarily as an institution, but as a living community of baptized believers. Anglican Bishop Charles Gore well described the church as an extension of the incarnation. And so, God being the incarnate of Christ as a member of the church, you're an extension of the incarnation. Jesus' ascension makes our participation in this extension possible. So at this time, I would like to ask everyone to stand. And I want everybody to repeat after me. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Christ! Christ! Is ascended! Is ascended! Amen! Amen! We will now open the doors of the church. The church was open, the doors were open 2,000 years ago. And I uh, invite everybody in our live audience and our virtual audience to turn to Christ this day. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the, with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Turn your hymn books to number 220. This is normally uh, sung at the end of the annual conference, but to me it's also appropriate for Ascension Day. Go preach my gospel. Go preach my gospel, say the Lord, fit my grace. Go raise the dead, go cast out.
We will now worship God with our tithes and offerings. Good afternoon to all of you out there in our virtual world. Yeah. We thank you for continuing to be with us and we thank you for being with us on this special day, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you in our virtual audience, audience as well as those of you that are here in person with us. That's all African American. Anybody have any word before we go? Again, go ahead. I just want to give the rest of you money to the car. I hope you pray that each one of you will have a wonderful Mother's Day. It's a great day that the Lord has allowed us to see. And I just want to. <laughs> Man. We want again, not only in our live audience, but virtual audience, we want to wish a happy Mother's Day to all mothers, grandmothers, great-grandmothers, yes. <laughs> stepmothers, <laughs> surrogate mothers, anybody I've left out, we wish you happy Mother's Day to Sister Elsa pointed out a number of years ago about women being honored on Mother's Day, even women who have never given birth to a child, most of them have nurtured somebody. Amen. And they thus need to be honored. Amen? Amen. Let us stand. Our benediction is in our bulletin. We will read it in the answer. Creator God, Stir in us the newness of life, that we may experience what you are doing in the world around us. Help, Help us not, not to grow stale to, to the world, world dim to your, your light, but, but to reflect your light and the newness, newness of your creation in all that we do. Inspire us to live, to live for others, others to love, love our neighbors, to seek, seek their well-being. In living, living for others, we find, we find ourselves living, living out your greatest, greatest command. command. Knowing that you live for us, we live for us. Creating us a newness of life, 
that we may love, live, and share the joy found in you. In the name of Christ, who makes all things new, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ is ascended. You're dismissed.